I'm talking relationships Worth more than money No time for the fake or the phony Tweezy jump the gym It's so evident Nigga with the game I'm talking relationships We back, we back We back for uh Another segment of Don't Get Finesse. Mm. Relationships Worth More Than Money podcast. Ooh. Mm. That's what it's about? That's what it's about. Relationships Worth More Than Money. You always stood by that. Because when I first met you, that's the first thing you said. Remember remember that was going to be the name of the album that I did. But then I switched it to Terry Red. Yes. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm sticking with it. Because that's... You always said that. That's crazy. That sounds good, though. To me, it's like... Yeah, you can get to the money. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, you got street dudes, you got street chicks, you got however you get it. But at the end of the day, it's all about the relationship that's going to carry that further. You know what I'm saying? So I always tell people, like, it ain't really about the money. The money going to come. It's about relationships. I just told um, I had to get approval for a, a venue location for a video by the yeah. owners. And it was basically saying, like, they respect that I came and asked for permission because a lot of people just use their property without yeah. um, having permission. And I was like, it's about building relationships and networking. So mm-hmm. you don't want to mess them relationships up. Yeah. You can have more opportunities to come back and keep filming if I want right, to, you right. know, with your permission, of course. But, um, I, yeah, I understand that. That's yeah. a good name. You stuck with it. Yeah, got to, had to. Had to. That's good. I mean, at the end of the day, like, it's bigger than just one thing. You know what I mean? Money come and go. Money come and go. Relationships, that's rare. They don't Let's last talk forever. About it. They, they don't last forever. And then the ones that do, that's when you know for sure. Yeah, like, it's rare to get right? it's yeah. all good and solid. Yeah, it's definitely. Because um, you never you never know. You never know. They come you might have go. somebody that's in your corner. And then they go on the next. Then they go on the next. <sighs> talk about it. The holidays easy. change. It's always four quarters in the year. You know what I mean? Maybe seasons. I don't like that. Four quarters, four seasons. I don't like that. Yeah. But that's the thing, though. Like, uh, even though you got four quarters and four seasons, mm-hmm. it's all about who stayed down. You know what I mean? I don't, it's not too many people I can say that stayed down. Let's talk Sadly. about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. I mean, for real, for real, like, I can I know for a fact, like, you know what I mean? Since teenagers, you know what I mean. But you, you, you gotta you gotta speak on it because they need they need to know they need to know. Oh, uh, where gotta, you want to start? I mean, like, <laughs> so we we talked about the the, the finesse game from Buddy from uh-huh. Philly, right? Kind of made me not then, interested in doing any more, um, like videos, or yeah. like, not videos, like showcases. Yeah, because when I was trying to get you to do a showcase, you was like, ah. I've been finessed. And, I, yeah. and I, 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 did, I, do, I did that a lot. Like, um, when something happened to me, tragic, or something that's, like, big to me happened, I, I hold on to it, and then I take that the next place. I'm like, yeah. no, I don't want to do that no more. Like, I don't like how that feel or how that experience went. So I don't yeah. want to do it again. I think, too, man, um, sometimes you got to go through it. It's, it's sad that you do. Mm-hmm. But it's like you gotta you gotta get a bump on the head to like figure out like what's what is it is it really worth it or is yeah. it not worth it? You know what I'm saying? Like cause sometimes the, the finesse game is is to a whole nother level. I, I think it is. I agree. Probably like, some stuff I haven't even experienced yet, but like the, from what like, I've seen so far, yeah. Like the um the the uh text messages. Oh. I mean not the text messages, the uh the DMs. Uh-huh. They be like, yo, this is the game or this oh. is so and so. I, I got finesse you. like that for um from Cash Doll account. I remember Somebody you told me that, oh. and I told you, I said, I said, be careful. You got mad at me. I was so mad. You got mad at me. I'm I like, was I'm like, like, no, it's Cash Doll. It's from her account. It got yeah. the blue check. And then like a day or two later, she made a video and said, "Y'all, I'm so sorry. Like that wasn't me. My page got hacked." She was like, "Trust me. Like I don't need nobody money. Like if I wanted to help you, I would reach out personally." Right. I was so. His. Yeah, because Cash, like, Cash Doll definitely, she she down to earth. My brother, yeah, she my is. I could see that. Her. That's yeah. why I love Cash Doll. Yeah, she's I was super like, down to earth. So that's why I was, trying, I was like, I was so I don't know. pressed. I'm like, look, Cash Doll hit me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know. I was like, that, I'm like, that don't look right. He was oh like, no, God. it's Cash Doll. I'm telling you. 
I'm like, that don't look right, man. But she, that? she, she will call you. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like if it was to that point where she really was fucking with me, if I was even that big and made that much noise, she would have been like, "What's up?" Like, yeah. I fuck with your son. I feel like she would directly do it. Yeah. I was so pissed. I'm like, who had? I was beefing. Yeah. I was like, was who mad. had Cash Doll page? I realized, I thought like, oh, bitch, this it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I love Cash Doll. But she, oh she, God. uh. I'm glad she did do that because someone won't even do that. They like, don't. They'll just let it be whatever and like yeah, what you think whatever because right. I guess all publicity is good, I guess. So. Yeah, some pl- some publicity ain't though. It's you not. I mean? It's not because I'm glad she did because I kept, I was like, this is weird. Like, can yeah. y'all reaching out? Like, yeah, send me your tracks. I'm like, on Instagram? Right. Tracks though. Tracks. Who says not- that? Yeah. Oh. Man, that's two. So that's two finesses. You got yes, finesse twice. I've been finesse. Yeah, you got finesse twice, two Talk times. Talk about it. Yeah. But um, some of these folks, uh, you know, they come and go. Mm-hmm. But let's talk about, like, the music. When I first okay. met you. Okay. Let's run what it song, back. What song was it? What? My, um... The, the, I think it was, like, two songs in one. And that's when Mia was with you. <laughs> Yeah, Mia was with you. You still talking to me? No. <laughs> See, we just said That's things crazy, come and man. go. Relationships <laughs> come and go. Yeah. No. Man, That's crazy. Unfortunately not. Yeah. But I remember, because you was writing. hmm And, um... What was the name of the song? Um... Was it WWW? W-W-W. Or... It was two songs. It was it was a freak song at the end. Yeah. It was <laughs> but I know it was two songs. And then you you uh you played some more music and I'm like, yo, this shit hard. Like <laughs> That's when I really was getting into my rap flow. Yeah, and I'm like, why you ain't what, what, what we doing? What I you was doing? Scared. Oh my God, I was scared because I'm like, they're not gonna like it. They not gonna really listen. Well, ain't nobody gonna support it. They if I put it out, I'm gonna sound stupid. Oh my God. Now the joint was already like, to me, I feel like what you're doing now, mm-hmm. well, no, what you was doing back then is what they doing now. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm looking like. And I be, I don't like to be the person to be like, see. I'm glad you see that. I told you so. I And I, I always <laughs> learn the hard way like that. Like, yeah. when I'm supposed to do it, I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm already doing it, but I don't see it as that. So then, like, I kind of. Because everybody that's out right now. All the doing big, all the shit that I was doing back it, then was just Saying crazy. everything, still rapping. Saying everything you you were saying, you got. Sometimes I'm I'm just now learning that you got to like believe in yourself and mm-hmm. like stick to that because I always I always come up with a dope ass idea and then when I don't do it, I will see a bigger artist doing it and I'll be like, yeah, oh my god, that would have been fire. I knew it would have. That's her. That's so crazy. It always happened to me like and, that. And for real, like, cause I was like, yo, I said Glorilla. Uh-huh. I say, um, T- Tina Snow, she was she was I out around the same love time. Megan. But you was but you was talking that talk too. I, you know I was. You was talking that talk too. You That's got, what made like, y'all was like, yo. That I'm cause cause she can rap. Like, Hell you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I be trying to tell people, yeah, she, I mean. Women gonna talk about their bodies, and that's good. I I want them to. You know what I mean? I talk- think that's why I did that mix in that song. I did that one track where yeah. I was talking my shit like a nigga, and yeah. then the second track was like, all right, but I could talk like this too. Exactly. You can get both of them. And that's why I was saying, like, some dudes get mad when women be rapping about all of that. But if you think about it, you go back and listen to their raps, what they talking about? They're talking about the same thing. The same thing. They're talking about pussy cars, clothes, jewelry, and drugs. And drugs. You know what I'm saying? Every, it's always y'all might just be y'all might x out the drugs and then it just substitute it with alcohol. I don't even you think I mean? like that. I, pass me the J in the song, but like, that, yeah, <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? But you know, weed to to me is like it's medicinal, so yeah. I, like I don't use that as a, as like y'all. That's what y'all y'all don't be. Some of them do, but when you would rap, I'd be like, Yo, that shit. got harder. Ooh. I'm like, yo, I this shit harder. crazy. That was just the beginning for me. Yeah. And then we used to uh we used to pull up at the old spot mm-hmm. at the town home. And I'd be like, where the fuck she coming from with this? <laughs> Cause you be like, yo, you you I be in my... Let me let me pull up. I wanna just do yeah, it. Let me I just like do it. I love, I still love being in the studio. That's like my 
safe space where I could go vent and just clear my head. Yeah. So, like, that's what I used to do. Because I used to be going through shit. So, anything I wrote about and came right. to record with you, that's because I just went through that and I done put it in this song yeah. and I got let it out. And then yeah. I want to hear it back in my own ears. And, and you used to, like, you used to make me produce... Beats. Produce your beats. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, because yeah. I have, you know me, I got a ton of beats and you be like, mm-mm. mm-mm. It, was a, it was the sound I was looking for. I'm right. like... I used to, I so when I first started doing music and people would send me beats, I would just accept whatever they gave me before mm-hmm. I knew my sound. But then I started realizing like what I like listening to. Like right. I like Gucci, I like Dolph, like yeah. I like trap shit. Right. So I was like, that's what I got to start looking for. So when you would play me your beats, I'd be like, it's okay. It sounds nah, like I need to be rapping I, different on here. I would like, get pissed. Yeah. But, but, but I, I understood, knew you did. Though. I was like, no, Tizzy, I love your shit. Yeah. Like your music, your stuff is good. I can hear the engineering in it, how you, how you made it from yeah. start to finish. And I'm like, but... It's not my sound. But it helped me though, and that I always tell you. people that. I always tell That's, people this. I'm glad it pushed like, you and didn't make you yeah, feel like you go somewhere. Even left. when you produce, you thinking like when I produce, I'm producing like on what I felt. What mm-hmm. just like how y'all write? It's yeah, about you what sensitive I felt. about your shit. Yeah, so. so like so so when you was like nah, I, I would get pissed because I'm like nah, this I is. The, that. I'm like nah, this is. But it was one though. I'm like nah, this got it. This is you. This is your lane. It was super simple. What was the V? I you forgot. Got it was it? like. I, yeah, I had to play it after this. I, I think I, I for sure got it. But oh it was God. like, because I'm like, all right, you helped me dive into the female realm. Mm-hmm. So that's why I wouldn't get super mad. I'd just be like, she bullshitting. This, I know this be to go hard. But I was like, you know what? Let me go into her world. Because that's what you got to do. Gotta in order think, for, for like you, if you writing for somebody yeah, else. You, you... got to go into their world. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? All right, bet. I know, I know what I'm going to do. So then I started making like them trap simple beats because I knew you can build yeah. around it. Mm-hmm. Because that's what that was the thing. Like sometimes we would add, you got, yeah, you sit there and add you, shit in there like now you need to out. add this. Yeah. Take it out. Mm-hmm. Take take some of the instruments out mm-hmm. and let her just let let people just go. And then you can add to it if you want to add to it or not. So then after that I was like, oh yeah, okay. I see where she because when we recorded that one, I forgot what song I don't even think you put it out either. We I got recorded. a lot of songs I didn't put that's out. That's what I'm saying. But it was that that one when you just you just went in because you was like, yo, I'm going to be back. And then you came back and like you just went through the whole song and I was like... You know something around that time? I still do that. Like, around that time I told myself like if I'm at home and I work on this track and I have it done, like before I go to the studio, I want to know how I'm going to say it, yeah. where I'm going to take a pause at to punch in that. Like, mm-hmm. I told myself that that's why it would be easy for me to come and record with you and just say it full out. Yeah. Because yeah. when you came, I'm like, okay, she... She like, I knew what I was. It's not like different. I was ready. Yeah. <laughs> like, you did something different. Because, you know, like, you would come, and I would charge you little to nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I was just like... It was affordable, too. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm let like, me put my money to the side, and it's going to go to Tweezy if yeah, I can record. Because I just... I felt like, when I believe in somebody, mm-hmm. I'm not about to charge you... An arm and leg. An arm Thank and you, because back then, I wasn't sitting like I'm sitting now. Right. But even then, if you were sitting how you were sitting, yeah. like, I wasn't going to charge you because I know we was building it. We was building something. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I was just like, nah, I ain't going to do that. But I was like, yo, when you re- recorded that song, and I was just like, damn, she went through that shit quick. Yeah. Like, what be going on in your head for, like, artist-wise? Like, to help the other, you know, female artists out there, or male artists, like, how do you... Thank you for saying that, yeah. too. Because, oh, we yeah. were talking about that, but okay. Yeah, like, because how do you, like, set yourself up for the studio? Like, what's your what's your prep? Like your prep time when you when you working on your music or you hear something. So, in order for me to write at all, I think my thing is when I'm going through shit. And when I'm going through shit, like my mind all over the place. I don't know where to start. I know I want to write something, but I don't know what I want to write. But my mind is like, just write what's going on. Yeah. Like I could tell you how I'm feeling about it you know, maybe a little bit more in there, but just, like, write the first thing to come to mind. Like, what happened? Mm-hmm. Like, that's where I start. What happened? How it made me feel? And then I start talking about, like, what I could have did or what should have happened in the situation. So that kind of helped me build the song. And then from there, like, once I, like, find me a beat to go with it, sometimes mm-hmm. I can either have the lyrics already ready or I might find me a beat let me be like, this is yeah. where I'm going at. This is where I'm going with it. Um, and then, like, once I can find, like, the melody of how I want to say it on there, 
And I'm like, all right, now I got to play this back. Like, we put this here. Make it come together. It's like kind of like a puzzle thing type yeah. thing for me mentally. Um, once I put it together, then I know how I want to say it. I rehearse it a couple times. Like, I got a million drafts. I use um, a little app to record myself mm-hmm. with the beat in the behind my vocals. Yeah. And just to hear how I want it to sound when I do go to the studio. So right. when I come to you, I'll be like, nah, nah, right here is where I want to I want to say this line. Because mm-hmm. like, I know how I got it lined up. Right. So, um, yeah, so once I, you know, go over my drafts and I hear myself back and I... Then I finally get a whole full out draft of me, my all my vocals and how I want my placements and stuff. Then I'm like, all right, yeah, now I'm ready to go record. Okay. So when I go record, I just sound like I was ready because yeah. I've been practicing. Like right. I've been getting on my shit. Yeah. Like I, I built up to how I wanted to come and do it. Not always that helped me kind of get in the studio in and out quick. Like I could record a song, a whole song mm-hmm. in an hour. Okay. Yeah, and, like and you, you spoke on the uh the part where I was like male and female. Yes. What about it? So it's this thing. I I get hip hop is supposed to be male dominant industry, mm-hmm. right? And of course we got female hip hop. Yeah. You know, like we like the underdogs in the industry, but right now we taking yeah, over. Y'all over, y'all the top dogs. We taking over. Y'all the top dogs. They now real. every everybody starting to like pay attention to females because mm-hmm. they they going just as hard as the niggas. Right. And I feel like I'm in this place where when I ask producers like send me beats, they send me the most girliest shit. <laughs> I'm like, listen, they like listen to you. they don't. Oh, it yeah. blows my mind because I'm like. Do you listen to me? Have you listened to any of my my music? Right. Like, do I sound like all I want? I could talk about popping pussy and got my nails. I could be that. I could yeah. do that. But like, if you really listen to me and like you a fan of what I do or like just a supporter of what I do overall, you'll know like I listen to real nigga shit. Like, mm-hmm. like I love Young Dolph. I always tell people this. I love Gucci Man. I like listening to Dirk, Moneybag, yo. Like, mm-hmm. I like their cadence and right. That's what I relate to more mm-hmm. than I do to females. And I always been like that. I right. always related more to niggas than I have females. Right. So I'm like, why they just won't like accept me as I could be in, I can go head to head with either one, mm-hmm. men or female. But right. like, don't put me in the categories with the women because, oh, I'm supposed to, I'm, po- I'm supposed to shake my ass, look cute, and talk about titties and all that. Like right. it's cute every now and then, but like I pop my shit. Like a like a nigga too. Like yeah. I think I think what it's they gonna don't, take. They don't see us equal. Yeah, what it's gonna take is for you to actually get on one of those records with another. Oh, I dude. already got something. I got something coming. You do? I got you something coming. You can't speak on it though, can you? Uh-uh. All right. We'll, I, well, I'm I'll a, be sitting back. Wait. I'm gonna be dropping soon. I said because I feel like this year, this year is like my year to prove myself because yeah. it's like I really hate that. Like when I say send me beats. They send me the girliest shit, but then they'll send some niggas some Dolph shit, yeah. or they'll send them some Gotti shit. Like, why you? Why they get them beats and I get the yup? Uh, yeah. what? Like, <laughs> I don't so want that. You, who, who sending the beats? Are they from this area or are they? Sometimes it be for everywhere. Yeah. Cause originally, like you know, when you first sign up with B Stars, mm-hmm. and then when you start buying beats on there or YouTube, they send you like keep sending you beats. But then eventually I started reaching out like on people on my social media on set, um on my story. Yeah. I would be like, just send me beats and I'll post my email. So sometimes I just get random beats like, hey Taz, I seen that you posted this, listen to this pack. Right. And I would get beats, but they would just send me the most girliest shit. And I'm like, I'm not feeling like that. Yeah, I think sometimes with producers, um, when they get those emails, they see you. They're not listening though. And try to put what they see Oh yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to send you these type of beats instead of like really like studying you. Yes. And then send them. Yes, please study me. I be, if, I have to tell them. I'll be like, hey, and don't send me no bitch beats. Like yeah. I swear, ask anybody who got who sent me a beat. I'll be like, don't send me no female beats. Like send me that hard shit that yeah. you would this person, that person. Like. So out of the females, who who you listening to? Megan. I got an actual whole female playlist right now. I'm pretty sure you. I figured Cause they, that. girls, the girls is is up. Yeah. It's our it's our year. It's our summer. It's our season. Um, of course, Megan, mm-hmm. um, Glow. She been doing her big 
her big one. Yeah, she been dope. Um, she her been girl famous. gloss up. I love her sound because she's southern. Yeah. Like I got that southern accent yeah. and I love it. It's just something about it. And they just everybody sound like they hard. Um, who else? Who else? I said L. See, look, yeah. <laughs> my accent yeah. came out. Yeah. Um, what's the girl? Is it Anaya Lease? And she be like, huh? Yeah. I yeah. like her. She got that deep raspy voice. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, I got who else? Of course, you know Cardi. Yeah, she ha- she been dropping her um singles lately. I got a whole playlist full of girls. Yeah, I don't. Who else have I been cranking though? Female wise, that that might be it right now. I got a little. I got some men mixed in there too. Like it's my it's the the folder called my A folder. <laughs> My A folder. It's just like A, oh, like, like my A-ish. turn up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, A, yeah, A. Yeah, like A. Yeah, okay. Like okay. this the turn up folder. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my girl folder. But, oh, yeah, them the main females. I haven't came across no new up and coming people, I think. Oh, Kendra Man. Mm-hmm. Her. She cold. She is. That's yeah. the one who I opened up for in Houston. Oh, that's why. Right. And I was about to ask you that. Yes. I was about to ask you. I'm like, yo, I saw you down in Houston. What the hell are you doing in Houston? That was my that was my first time in Houston. For real? Yes. Told you H Town, man. Oh, Shout out to H Town. Shout H-Town out to H Town. Jesus, H Town be popping. Did you go to camp? Where do we go? I don't know what spot you was at, but I know camp, camp, pop. Was it camp? No. No, nah, it was I don't think it was camp. Oh, shit, Did they, they have gonna... on like little camp outfits, the girls? Well, they all had they all matched my shit. They all had them pink. So yeah. I can't remember the name. Don't get me. But um I'm a, I'm gonna look it on my page. Mm-hmm. But it was so it was everything. Yeah, my, my bro Nawosu, he from H Town. He had us. He was our God. He For had real? us, man. He was I everywhere. freaking loved it, and yeah. for that to be like my first real big crowd because that was her crowd. Mm-hmm. They came to see her, but it Did was supporting. Oh my god! Let me tell you something. Down south, they fuck with me. That's why I go down there. But you always know, like, Atlanta. Yeah, they always like my first times going to Atlanta, like, they showed so much love. I was like, damn, like, I got to come back. Like, yeah. you would have thought I've been putting music out, like, for years and I had built this fan base. Where you, where you from normally going to be the last people to pick up on your music? Everywhere else going to rock with you before the people I've your learned home, that. Your I tell, hometown. I tell people that. I'll be like, I wish my city, well, at least, I, I kind of look at it different now. Back then, I used to look at it like, I wish my city supported me because they weren't. Everybody had mm-hmm. that mindset, like, if I ain't making it, you ain't making it. Yeah. So I would just be like, I'm just going to take my creativity elsewhere. Because, you know, in Atlanta, they got so many different creative things down there. Like, they got pop-up shops, uh, trap museums they mm-hmm. come up with. Um, you know, all these trap artists. Like, they, they they sound is different. What they do is different. And it's really creative. So I was like, let me just try to go out there. Yeah. Atlanta is like Black Hollywood. So I went out there. And then that was like... The best response I got that made me motivated even more. I was like, okay, yeah. so like when I got to do the Houston one, and I had a real big crowd in front of me, like some shit you see on Instagram. Like, right. like it's a real fucking shit. Yeah, nobody fo- recording the footage. Yeah, I did. Uh, so my man, manager, my manager, he do all the filming and stuff. He do damn near like all, he do all my filming whenever uh, event we go to, so we mm-hmm. can get some good content to put together. Um, but oh my god. It was crazy. So, like, to kind of give you a rundown on it, um, I work with Because. Mm-hmm. He's a producer who makes Kinda Man's beats and other okay. artists that's out from Houston, too. Yeah. And and he worked with other um, artists like Mo3. Shout out to Big Cuz. Big Cuz. Shout out to my man. Yeah. He um, dope. He's super dope. He is. And he's such a sweetheart. Um, so, I loved him and his team. So, we got to, you know, link finally. Because he was telling me, um, you know, like, about his events that he have, mm-hmm. and he wanted me to, you know, perform. If I was interested, you know, gave me my slot, the slot information and what was available. So I was like, okay. So I made sure I booked that. And just being there, like, when we got there, like, the vibe, everybody was friendly. Yeah. Everybody was, hi, how are you? And I was like... That text, that text is a hospitality different. I'm so used to walking in the room, and I'm smiling, and, and they that, like... Yeah. They so butthurt. It's yeah. like, what you mad? Like... 
I look good, you look good. Like, yeah. I want to compliment you, bitch. Why you can't compliment me? Like, yeah. why we can't have good energy? It's just, it was given that. So, like, you know, other places, but in Houston, it was given, like, everybody was friendly. Um, we had a nice big section up at mm. the front where we was going to perform at. And then over, and then, like, I started, I like the fact when I get to a place where I'm about to perform that I kind of get to read the room and get comfortable, like, to see, like, what type of people I'm about to perform for. Yeah. Um, and they look like they came to have a good time. So um, when I got to see the other artists and how they would perform, I was like, okay, like, I know I could do this. And when Ken got there, that kind of gave me a little bit more. Yeah. Like, okay, it's yeah. go time. Yeah. All right. So um, I got up there, me and my dancers, like, we went off. And, like, their response was like, they started really yelling and yeah. like it was like, oh shit, this happening. Yeah. And I started talking my shit more. Like, okay, if you a pretty bitch, make some motherfucking noise. And they was yeah. like, okay. Like yeah. I seen phones and I'm like, this shit is really happening. Okay. Right. I was just like in the moment of when I rap, I'd be blacking out and I'm mm-hmm. like in my zone. But at the same time, I was shocked. Like, I ain't never heard no shit like this. Right. So down south, definitely. They give me the love I be looking for, like, at home. But I think at home, they make you work a little harder for it. You got to prove yourself, like, yeah. why you why are you that bitch? Like, I think it's, I think it's to me, is they don't, they don't believe in it. They don't, not until they see it. Not, yeah, now they when see they see it, it yeah. from them posting my shit yeah. and different, outside of, you know, cities, they be like, yo, you doing your thing, I'm so proud of you. But, like, when I was doing it here, right, you didn't yeah. support me. Right, right, right. And I be telling people all the time, like, it's it's like one of those mental battles you got to go through. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to understand, like, hey, everybody ain't going to be in your corner when you think they're going to be in your corner. And you know what? I just learned, I told um, the girl, my girl, her Instagram is love underscore paper doll. She mm-hmm. had hosted a, a cosplay event last night. The cosplay night. chick. Yeah. She, fo- I, she followed me, but I didn't know who she was. I followed her back. You know me, I'm a follower. Yeah, that's my girl. Yeah. I used to work with her some years ago. Um, her real name is Carla. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's really into cosplay and we were talking about my performance last night she's like yo they really loved you and I was like last night kinda it kinda made me change my mind of my thought of like my city don't support me right and it kinda made me think it wasn't my city it was the people around me yeah. that wasn't supporting me yep. Yep. and that right there made me say okay because I've done so far I think three or four DC performances in the past few months. And every event, it was a small crowd or a big crowd, they was making noise. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. It wasn't the city. It was the people that was around me that really wasn't trying to help me get to where I was going. Like, so... I think the city can support you. It's got to get to know you. Yeah, You got to pop out some more and remind people, like, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. And, like, the responses I got last night, like, I thought it was going to be, like, a venue where I think it was supposed to be at Metro Bar or something, but it mm-hmm. was at um, City Trends in Northeast. Is that Edgewood or Edgewater or something like that? Inglewood. Yeah. It's something. Um, it's on Northeast. I don't know about no DC stuff. Yeah. I'm a GPS girl, y'all. Yeah. Um, but it was a really cute venue. It was, like, a warehouse, warehouse type setup, and it had, like, the little... Gaming systems where they do. Um, was it Throw Social? No, nah, it wasn't Throw Social, I don't think. Okay. It said City Trends on the outside of their building. Okay, City Trends. But I, I'm gonna have to it, was, it, it was a cute setup. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll say it was about 50 people in there. Yeah. And it wasn't a stage, so that meant I had to work the room. Right. The little area that we had. But, like, it was a moment where... When I first came out, I don't know where my energy came from. I think I was just, like, excited to be there Mm because everybody was like, hi, you look so cute, you and your girls. And I was like, thank you. That kind of gave me the energy I needed. So, like, when I went to start the performance just to test out the room, I I would hit them with the vibe check. I'm trying to see what y'all on. So I tested them out with my first few bars of my song. And they just like, okay. And I was like, okay. But that's good, though. You know how to work the crowd. You know how to work the I home. had to learn that yeah. a few times with a lot of my DC events because um, I had did another one recently. Uh, it was like an in-the-basement type of situation, mm-hmm. and it was a room full of niggas. And I'm like, 
Oh, I can't come in here talking about pretty bitch trap right, shit. Right, right. I mean, like, that's my songs and stuff, but I'm like, I can't, I can't be like, if you a pretty bitch and you like trap shit, yeah. talking to these niggas. So I was like, now I gotta come different. Right. So I was like, I see it's a whole bunch of niggas in the room, but the pretty bitch is about to take over. Right. And they was like, okay. Yeah. Like I was like, yeah, you gotta read the yeah, room. You gotta read the room. Read like, the room. I had one guy at that performance. I could tell the look in his face, the way he was looking at me, like. This little ass girl, she ain't about to talk about nothing. Right. Because it was only me and another girl. The other girl was doing R and B. She was singing. She mm -hmm. could really sing too. But for me, I felt like it was just me versus all of them because all these niggas rap, yeah. and I'm the only female rapper in here. So I'm like, okay. So I could tell this nigga. He looking at me like, like girl, you ain't about to pop no shit for real. Right. So when I got to rapping and he seen my dancers, I was like, I started talking to him. Like, every time I said a bar, like, they said nigga or bitch, yeah. I would look at him and make, like, a yeah. face. <laughs> and I started seeing him bob his head. He was like, yeah. I sometimes said, you like, make yeah, em. nigga, like, yeah, stop you got, playing. You gotta like, work, you gotta, sometimes you got to make some people some believers. Because he really wasn't at first. Yeah. And I and I kind of felt like that when I realized it wasn't, like, a, a showcase where it's going to be a room full of people. Mm -hmm. It was just a space for, like, I guess, artists to come perform and kind of get their name out there. Right. And it wasn't even on a platform. So it was just, like, whoever came down, like, a, a in the dungeon type shit. Mm -hmm. So, um... You got footage of that, too? Yeah, we did. We haven't even put any of it That's out. That's what I'm saying. Like, as long as you're getting footage. Long, yeah, because long you, can you, footage, you can always put it out later. And you can always put it out later. The journey and the grind, they're yeah, going to see show. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're the going to know. Yeah, she definitely was out here. Oh, in these man. It was so dope, though. Like, and the fact that I had the niggas, I was like, light this bitch up. Like, get your phones out. Yeah. They pulled their phones out and they was like, okay, all yeah. niggas. All niggas. Only in, females in that hood. came in the hood. In the hood. All niggas. Yeah. So I was like, yo. Okay, it made me feel like I did my big one. I was like, that made me look at it different. Like, it wasn't the city. It was the people around me. Right. Yeah. So who who your, who your people that's around you now? Right now, I've kind of been building my circle. Yeah. Um, I cut back on a lot of people that I used to hang with. I don't have the same friends no more. Family ties cut. Mm -hmm. Like... Right now, it's my mom, my son. He's my everyday. She my everyday. My son's father. Um, I talk to my friend Sid, my best friends, uh, Momo and Mikey. I talk hey, to What's them. your manager name? Huh? What's your manager name? Coop. Okay. Coop, yeah. Right. His um, social media is... Abstract media, abstract, abstract underscore media. media. All right. Shout mm -hmm. out he to do the, shout out to Coop. Shout him out. He do like filming and stuff for the movies on Tubi, Netflix, mm -hmm. and Prime. Okay, you know when the, when the celebrities and stuff come in town, a lot of that's who they booking. Okay, abstract media and his team. Um, yeah, I had to like rebuild my circle. I'm still building. Yeah, I'm still removing some as as situations you got come. To. Yeah, because you know it's like the the. The more I go into this industry or whatever path I'm going through right now, I'm noticing people are like they dropping, like they coming mm -hmm. and they going, or like they was here and now they got to go. So, yeah, you got to sometimes. And and I remember uh, you was doing some acting, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I did two movies. Yeah, what's buddy name with the uh with from the, the wire? Beard, from the wire, <sighs> Trey. Yeah, yeah. That's who you like linked up to get the get in the movies, right? No, that wasn't him. Uh, uh somebody else. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, I had an inside connect. Okay, okay. <laughs> but um, so the first movie, um, which one? The first movie I had to audition for, I think that was, a uh, nightmare. No, no, no. That one was the dancing one when I had my stripper role. And you was trying to make a song. I did for that. I did make did a song. You use it? My song is on it. So you used it. You knew. The one we did or another one? You knew. Man, you didn't even tell me that. <laughs> it's in that you it's in both of the movies. For real? It's in both of the movies yeah, on Tubi. Um, that, matter of fact, that was the one when you came in the studio. Yeah. You knew. And you just went straight in. I was like, damn, that's but how you, you feel. You knew that. Yeah. <laughs> you knew. He, Cause remember you you fought me though. Cause you was like, this ain't no, this ain't the song. What what was it? It was some, like you wanted to create something even harder, and you like this ain't a this ain't a strip song. I was like, yes, it is. You like, no, it ain't. I'm like, listen to the, what you're saying. 
<laughs> and the beat. And he was like, this ain't it. I'm like, I didn't feel that. I felt like yeah. I hate a selfish motherfucker, but I don't never forget shit. I ain't feel like it was a twerking song. But I you gotta like, think, all the songs that motherfuckers be twerking to. They listen, talking shit. They, they are. They At that time, shit. I was talking shit, but I wasn't talking shit like really. Yeah. I would talk to a female. Right. I was talking shit like about what's going on in my life. Like, you know, like, yeah. I ain't think like bitches yeah. nigga twerk their ass to this. So both movies got it. Both movies got it. Right. And then you you doing any more? I would like to. I like acting. Yeah. It's really cool. That one that I had to audition for, I had to audition two different roles um, for two different um, characters. The one that I ended up being was Bambi, but I auditioned for um, another role where it had more lines in it. Mm-hmm. But I think I read Bambi a little bit better. I think the other one really, it kind of reflected my real self. Mm-hmm. But the director of it was right. like, in acting, you're supposed to Choose a character that's the opposite of you so that you can tap into a different side that you didn't know that you had. Right. Try it out. And she was like, now read the script. So I was like, okay, let me see how this person would talk. So it was a, it was basically, you know, some strippers. Um, you know, they always talk about money. They talk about like, you know, what they, how they getting their dollars. Mm-hmm. Regular hoe shit. Right, right. <laughs> so okay. I'm like, okay, this ain't me, but all right. So, I mean, you know, I love the strip club culture. Mm-hmm. Um, so I could kind of tap into the dancing easily because right. that's what my era is, strip club culture. Um, and just to talk it wasn't really hard for real. It was just reading it and having to remember those lines for those yeah. scenes. But most of my scenes was dances. Um, so you ain't had to do too much? I ain't had to do too much except for that locker room scene where I had a little couple lines to say. But what's, just... what's, what's the name of the movie? You got shot the movie out. Unless, <sighs> unless you got some issue with it. No, I don't got no issue with it, but I'm trying to think of the name. Okay, so you got a naughty Christmas and then um but get, get him on the uh Oh my god, what is it? You might gotta pull it up. What's what's the name? Hey, Google Google the uh What's that movie I was in with the dancer? Um damn. That was a trip. Shit. Damn. <laughs> damn, niggas be forgetting. I'm sorry. Look, um, it's gonna come to me later. It's gonna come random too. We're gonna be talking, I'm gonna be like, I got it. But I can't even tell you. Okay, cool. But it was it was dope. I definitely want to do more. Like, I seen P-Valley was filming for the summer, and I, I've been trying to get in there. Yeah. I still been trying that's to get what, in there. That's what it was, because we was like, yo, we got to make something like... Because you put me on P-Valley. I ain't watched that. I ain't never know nothing about it. You stopped watching it when it got real. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I was watching that joint for a minute. Until it, they started doing them in the show. No, 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 no. I, I just didn't watch that part. Yeah, but, y'all used to blow I, yeah. me. Like, it was like a real live world nah, debate. No, nah, I just... But Buddy can really act, though. Yes. I rock with him. Yes. What's it takes name? a lot. In the, in the, in the uh, show? Who? The one who plays um, um Lil Murder? Yeah, Lil Murder. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, used to Lil be Murder. in there talking yeah. about different scenes. <laughs> yeah, Lil Murder, man. He, you know what I mean? He cool. That acting crazy. Yeah. I don't give a damn what his role is because yeah. there's so many actors that has done them type roles. He killed that. He killed that joint. And I, and I think, like, the stigma that they always put on it is, like, in order for you to be like something great, you got to do something like feminine or. You I've know heard what I mean? that they and say, like, but, they, but that's only for African American. Yeah, yeah, that's but I mean, mean, what's name dressed up, dressed up as Miss Doubtfire? Um, not, uh, what's my what's my man's name? He passed away. But yeah, he he dressed up as Mrs. Doubtfire. Starting over blues. Didn't I say that was going to happen? It was going to come to you. That was the name. Of this, that was the name of the movie. <laughs> yeah, starting, starting over, over blues. blues. Starting oh, over blues. I knew it was gonna come later. See y'all, I be I be having some. Sometimes it's sometimes you gotta let it let it reset, mm-hmm. pop back in. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we got, got the music. Mm-hmm. Um, how's life as a as a, as a as a mom? Life as a mom is life in. Yeah. <laughs> He's so King is three and a half. So yeah. toddler stage. Um, he's learning every day, 
and he talks better than what you've heard the I first already, time. Because at two, he was saying full sentences. Yeah. So now he talked like me and you. Yeah. And he questioned everything. He wouldn't know everything. And he like a tape recorder. Yep. He in that stage. Yep. He a sponge stage. Yes. And, he's soaking up But everything. he definitely keep me on my toes because like there is never no like downtime. Like mm. I could be sleeping. He like, mommy, look at this. Like you see this shark. This shark is a megalodon. Yeah. Like, you know, like it's, he keep me up on my toes and he's like, will keep me, keep me going every mm. day. So I love my baby. Um, my baby will be four y'all July 5th. He got cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Good old, good old king. A little, yeah. That's my dog. That's my he, dog. He, He's big now. He said he a big boy. He want a haircut. Yeah. Um, he want a big boy room. He said he want me to redecorate his room for his yeah. birthday. So that's on the list. Now how your mom? Cause I know I know she how she was with him. She I, worse. I, I felt, right I, now I she done that. took that boy to Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. After he done had a crazy good old weekend with my dad, they went to the beach, swimming mm-hmm. in the ocean yesterday, and crab hunting. He get some crab. Yes, and I'm like. So she done took him to Chuck E. Cheese as soon as he as soon as she got him. Yeah. And she done bought him some a new scooter and some toys. Yes. I said, yep. why is y'all competing? Yeah, gotta do a, I'll do a grandpa. Oh my God. Yeah. But yeah, she got him right now, spoiling him. Yep. Ain't nothing changed. That's what's up. Well, um, I mean, it's men's mental health month, but Oh how my do God, you, is it? Yeah. How do you, you know, handle your your uh <sighs> everyday <laughs> Child, I'm still trying to learn how to handle yeah. it. Mental health is a really big thing in my life right now. Facts. It is because, like, over the years, like, I've grown really bad anxiety. Mm-hmm. My stress level up to here. Um, So, like, I was doing a lot of things to try to, like... Calm it down. Calm it down. Yeah, like, I got into therapy Venting really helps. Like just talking about it is like to a the right stress person. to the right person. Not to everybody. You can't get advice yeah. from everybody because some people ain't never experienced the shit that you experienced in. Right. Or some people might have experienced it and they got through it. So now they telling you how easy it was. And or, no. or they numb to it. Mm-hmm. Now they numb to it. So it was like, get over it. Like we were just talking about that earlier. Mm-hmm. I was like, like, my process is different and I take a little longer than other people. Like, yeah. I hold shit in. It's, and then when I finally let it out, I'm like, I'll take the time. Right. Like, I've been holding it for too long. So, like, but I never knew, like, how serious stress and anxiety and depression can mm. all go hand in hand. And I learned that this year. Like, I was having, um like, chest pains and stuff and shortness of breath. Yeah. And just to find out, like, those are panic attacks. Those are my episodes you're having. Because your, your you stress level is so what, high. You know what was causing it? I had a lot going on in my life. I still do. Yeah. Right now, I'm going through some shit right now. But, like, I just been... I was doing therapy. I stopped that. And then, like, I'm going through a breakup. So that's something else. And then trying to manage being a mom. And then having to get up to go to work every day. Yeah. Manage bills. I got a dream I'm trying to follow. So I got all these thoughts in one. But, like, the only thing that's been managing that and keeping me kind of calm is if I keep busy. Keep going. Keep, yeah, you just I keep bought going. myself a promise ring to represent me keep going, like, to mm-hmm. remind me. So, like, when I have bad days, I'm like... yeah. I gotta keep going. Cause people always ask me, like, yo, Tweez, how do how you how you how you be going, how you keep going through this shit? Like, bro, you dealing if with If you, you really dealing... wanted you'll go for it. Yeah, cause it's like my thing is it's like I was in the Marines. Mm-hmm. Everybody know I joined straight out of out of high school. Oh mm-hmm. oh three I graduated, oh four January I was gone. That's a lot. You know what I'm saying? I did. Yeah. And my homies back then, I was trying to get the whole neighborhood to go. Cause you know, I'm oh. from you know east side of Detroit. I was trying to get my homies to go. Out the hood and, do something and I'm like, bro, like. look, bro, we can go, we can get money, we can travel. And, and everybody went that. on that same page. And I understand it. I ain't get mad or nothing. Mm-hmm. But when I left, they all got mad at me, except for a few of them. Like you left us behind. Yeah. And I, and then I'm like, bro, I came back. I'm like, yo, you can still come. Even though I joined, you can still join. It's, it's not so like a few gonna... of them did. That's good though. You know what I'm saying? They want someone went to the Air Force, someone went to the Navy. You know what I mean? And I was cool. I'm like, at least, hey, at least some of y'all listening. And um, sure enough, man, it was like that. And then dealing with your family. You know what I'm saying? Family, you being away from your family. I'm missing all the weddings. I'm missing all the 
You feeling uh, alone? Yeah, I'm missing all the... But that's when the family and the Marines came in. Mm-hmm. And you know what I mean? And I was like, you know what? Whatever issues I got back home, I ain't tripping on you that. Made I got, numb I got the homies here. You know what I mean? And we used to get into shit in Cali all it. the time. Yeah, I that's buried it. That's where trauma it. come from. Yeah, and then on top of that, I come home and it's some more shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Add to your place. Yeah, so when I when I came home and I started learning, like, a lot of this shit, like, my dad used to always tell me, worry about shit you can't control. My Stop mom about tell it. me that. If you Stop can't control it, it, don't worry about it. And that's what I did. Can't you know change I mean? it, don't I worry just, about it. I'm like, look, this is who you are. Mm-hmm. You my pops. Like, this is who you are. You know what I mean? I can't control it. I ain't trying to control it, but I can't be around it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, you, you got to you gotta fix that on your own. Like, gotta remove. as a man, you got to come and, and, and handle your candle. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You can't just think everything is going to go your way and then not come back and, like, you know what I mean, stand on 10 toes and be a man and apologize. So I always tell people that, like, even with, you know what I mean, situations with the music, like, some of the homies decide to go their own way. That's cool. You know what I mean? But yeah. you can't you can't be, you got to pick a side with me, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? You either rocking with me or you ain't. You I'd know be what like saying? that, too. But then I'd be thinking it's selfish for me to be like that. No, nah, it's not. Because at the end of the day, it's like you going through your own... You know what I'm saying? Issues. Mm-hmm. And like, it ain't for everybody else to understand. Right. But Because your process that, is different. Yeah, because your pro even like with grief, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Rest in peace to Benz. Like, Benz passed away. I don't know if you knew him. Who? Big Benz. Bro passed away like a couple weeks ago. Was and he an artist or one, like one of your close yeah, friends? Yeah, he was an artist. Like, okay. yeah, yeah. And like, you know what I mean? Out, out in VA. And he was like, the truth. Like, he was like, Rick Ross for real. Like, oh. he was, he was that. How did and, he like, pass? I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. To this day, like, I just reach out to O, and you know what I mean? Every every other day, I try to, like, just tap in with him mm-hmm. because he, him, O and Benz was on my episodes, like... On your, like, um, yeah, on the, your shows? On the podcast, yeah. That, he I was just on, was watching some of them yesterday. The, I wonder if I episode. looked at him. Benz was on the fifth episode, and, um, like, the way I grieve is different. You know what I mean? Like, okay. a lot of times, like, I be numb to it, but it, like, comes and goes. Mm, and like, hit you random. Yeah. And I and me that. and him had that conversation because when my cousin passed, it was the same thing. Like, mm. you know what I mean? He reached out to me. And when his brother passed, I did the same. So it was like, when you dealing with all of this stuff and then you saying, you know what I mean? Yeah. Your day twos. Because yeah. day one, or it don't matter what day you met him. Yeah. You, you see your day ones and your day twos, you. like, you know what I'm saying? Doing the same thing, like, all right, cool. Like, I ain't tripping off that. Because at the end of the day, like, I'm still moving. I'm going to keep going. You know what I'm saying? Keep going so, is definitely... I know, like, you, because remember, you stopped talking to me. <sighs> and I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Like, I thought you was guilty by association. I'm like, what I do? Like, you know what I mean? I'm he like, I ain't even doing nothing. Association. So, but, you know, I, I said, man, this my sis. Like, I'm not about to... We definitely had that relationship. Like, we was like out. this. Yeah, and like, I was actually surprised yeah, that you reached out. I and I'm like, know. honestly, now at that it's been years, two years, I'm like, it really wasn't tweezy. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, what's going on? I think on? I was just mad at what happened. Yeah. And then I was like... Yeah, you just threw everybody was, in a bunch. Yeah, I was like, yeah. they all work with us on me, you know, like... And I, and I was like, you know what? I ain't about to, like, the relationship that I had with everybody. You stuck to that. That's why I, I stuck to I stuck to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, I seen, I'm like, damn, Taz don't even follow me. <laughs> I said, this is weird. Like, you know what I <laughs> mean? I said, hold on. I hit you in the DM. I'm like, hey. He and I'm I, like, it, wasn't I'm... Even, it wasn't even on no like, yo, why the fuck you stopped following me? It was like, I just know. I'm looking through the gram. I just know. Why are you just now seeing this? Why you yeah, unfollow like... me? Because, you know what I mean? I be thinking, because I be thinking about all the artists that I, you know what oh, I mean? That I had you know. A, that I know that I got a relationship mm-hmm. with, and I always try to tap in just to check in on Like, people. what you got going on? Yeah, just to yeah. check in. I'm like, she don't follow me. <laughs> I, said, I said, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do for you to unfollow me? And you just, like, bust out laughing <gasps> or whatever. Oh, my God. But yeah. I think, yeah, I definitely added you in the mix. And I understand, you know what I mean? Because your relationship there was before mine. So automatically, I'm like, you know, I know that the bros before hoes type thing. Even though we like bros. Yeah. I, I just still felt like that. So I was just like, I was in my own head. Yeah. And um, I mean, when you reached out, I was like, okay, it's not too easy. It's not everybody that yeah, is, is like, associate. I was, yeah, I was just trying to figure out what was going on. Yeah. I didn't know. 
And actually, um, I think what made you, what brought me up in your um, attention was when Eddie got his plaque and yeah. you reposted it. Yeah. That's what made you hit me right after. And I was just like... Yeah, because you was a part of that. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like, my whole thing is, is I don't care what's going on. Yeah. If 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 I'm not informed on what's going on, you got nothing to do with it. I ain't got nothing to do with but it. You know I what I'm saying? really wasn't looking at it like but that. But I was like, shit, she was a part of this song. Why not? Like, you know what I mean? So I'm like, of course. That's one thing about me. Like, I'm going to keep it a thou wow, no matter what. Like, you want something, you did something for me, we work together, <sighs> I'm going to always you. shout you out. Because, like, at the you. end of the day, like, you were the only person. And that's actually what caught my attention because I kept, I was at home doing something and my phone started going off. And I'm like, the hell, like, who texted yeah. me? But it was no text, so I checked Instagram, and then I'm seeing I'm getting tagged in something. So I see, you know, Eddie, um, and they everybody popping bottles, and they dancing to the song. And I'm like, oh, what they say? And they say he got a million right. streams. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, wait, that's the yeah. track that I'm on. Right. But then, like, when I zoomed into the plaque, and I said, wait a minute, my name not on there. Yeah, and that's why I was just like, they took my name off the plaque. And I and didn't until you said it. I didn't even notice that. And then when I seen my name was taken off the plaque, I was I said that would make sense why I wasn't tagged mm-hmm. when they were doing shout outs and tags to everybody who's a part of that project. And I'm like, I'm the feature on it. Like right. if you look that song up, it say Eddie Lee, pop it, featuring right. Taz. There yeah. ain't no other Taz. It's only me. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. But when you reposted and you was like, and shout out to Taz, because you was a big part of that. That was like I'm, that made me say he ain't had nothing to do yeah, with it. Yeah, I I didn't even know I didn't even know you y'all know had an it, issue. you didn't know how deep it was. Yeah, I didn't. Honestly, you know after that conversation with him, um, I didn't know how big it was. I mean, for me, I yeah. I took it as disrespect, and I was just like, sadly, gotta we gotta you part know ways. part ways. Yeah. I didn't want to, but at the same time, you didn't respect me when you did that. Yeah. So. And then to to make it worse, take me off a plaque. I'm like, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I was like, yo. We beef I'm, beefing. And it's yeah. been years. Yeah, and I'm like, I ain't, I ain't understand that. But like, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, nah. I'm, I'm. But when you tagged me, that made me feel a little. Because when I first seen it, I was like, damn, niggas ain't. I don't see it mentioned to my my page. I started looking for it. I, I asked where you was at. You know what I'm saying? You been to the crib. So I was, I, um, I'm like... But you ain't know how deep I it didn't. was. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know. You just knew niggas fell out. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I was like, okay, uh, cool. But I'm still going to put, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter, like, what I, what song blow and up you on know, my eyes. You know the crazy shit? Even though they took me off the plaque, when you reposted it, then Eddie posted it. And was like, yeah, man, shout out to Taz. You really did your thing. Yeah. And I was just like, thank you. Even though I felt the way yeah. for seeing that and then not being mentioned, I still reposted it. Yeah. Just to show, like, I fuck with Eddie and I fuck with the song regardless what yeah. happened behind the scenes right. after the fact. Because it had nothing to do with the track or yeah. when we put it together. We When we was doing we was it. all in the basement. When we was all in the basement in the doing basement. it, everything yeah. was good and gold then. So yeah. I'm not going to take it out on Eddie. I'm I'm happy that he got a million streams because that's yeah. a really big goal for an artist to even hit a million streams in the industry, especially you just coming up. Mm-hmm. So he was really pushing. I seen it like as soon as the, the track came out for a year, he was pushing that track really hard. Like back to back, he had content for it and he was right. doing a lot for it. So I was like, I'm still support. Regardless, right. you took my name off of it. Do I feel away? Hell yeah, yeah I feel away. Because nigga, I, I went and wrote them bars. I came and laid them tracks down and mm-hmm. helped you make that track. So yeah. don't forget. Who the fuck is on yeah. it? So yeah, that's why I was like, I, I, I don't care what's going on. I'm shouting. Yeah, you know what I, mean? I, I and I respect you, and I yeah. thank you for that because I definitely I looked at them. I was like, damn, like shit, really? Yeah, because I ain't know. You, what, I ain't yeah. know you was take me off. Like, you could yeah. at least still been like, I don't fuck with her because of this. She ain't trying, you know. Yeah. But at least respect the name, like. Yeah, she was a part that, of that. that, was, that was thing, Ain't no other task. You like, can't you can't go make another task. It's only me who's on that track. You, it don't matter who you work with, it's not gonna be another task that was on Pop It. You can get a remix, remix, remix. Right. That's it. Like, and that was the thing. Like I, I was like, shit. You know what I mean? 
when you said that, I was like, damn, your name ain't on there. Took me the fuck off the I'm plaque. Like, listen, go listen to song, my new track, yeah. Real Bitch. So I was like, all right, let me, <laughs> let me, let me post. Let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, whatever, whatever was going, I put up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he he put up half. I put up. Like but you a, ain't know that yeah. that was going to happen. Yeah. He and was just participating in what needed because, to be done Yeah, for. because it, it was, it was. It was him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I'm like, all right, cool. But um The intentions yeah, behind that, yeah. it. Yeah, after you I'm like, damn, why the fuck? And when you told me, you was like, I just had to X everybody out. I said, Hey, I, I ain't mad at you. And you was like, Well that it had nothing to do with yeah, me. Yeah, I'm like, that ain't got that. nothing to do with me. And that's my thing, like, I think a lot of people just don't understand, like, if you really loyal and you rocking with somebody, that's your homie. Like you gonna have, you gonna have issues. Yeah, you know what I'm you saying. You gonna go through stuff. You gonna go through stuff with your people, but at the same time, when they get to the point where it's like, nah, this ain't, this ain't no issue. This is like a problem for me. Like, you know what I mean? It was like a slap in the face, right? Because, right. like you said, like I've been to the house, I've been in the basement, right. Like, I've been around family. I started feeling like family at one point. Yeah. Because I was being introduced. Late, to late nights. Late night. You know what and, I mean? and I was, they was planning parties for me. Right. At they shit. So, like, just to have people listen to my music. Like, so, to, to have that type of situation happen, I was just like. Yeah. Damn. And, and that's the thing, too. Like, I think people, people put in the wrong energy into something. And then they, 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 uh, they try to make it like it's their life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They trying to yeah. live like, and I don't like because it's like you, you an artist, I'm a producer, engineer, mm. whatever. But I think sometimes people don't understand that we're different mm-hmm. and we move different. You know like we were talking about process. Everybody yeah. processes. We is process different. different. Yeah. So when we process like a slap in the face or whatever. We we go and ask like, "Hey, am I tripping?" I do do that. You know what I'm saying? Am I tripping? Or just to clarify, like maybe yeah. I'm just in my head because a lot of times I am. Yeah, because sometimes I might you, overthink you, you shit. Got to, you know what I'm saying? Away, yeah. yeah, and I always used to tell them, "Dots don't overthink shit." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and I learned that from um, it's my man, the producer. He had a whole little room that said, "Dots don't overthink shit." So I I never would overthink the shit, but I'm like, mm. I'm a Virgo mm. for one. Mm. I read rooms. I do too. And I read fuck shit. Yeah. So if I'm reading fuck shit, I'm like... That's what it is. If one plus one equals two, baby, yeah. that's what it is. Can't I'm change like, it. I'm good at math. The math is mathing. So I'm... You know what I mean? I tell people all the time, I'm good. I, I never jumped out of a plane, but I know how to pop that parachute. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm out. And you know that's what I mean? Sometimes... It. it happens. But like... If I ain't spoke to you... And over, you know what I'm saying? If I ain't spoke to you in some years and I don't know you, you don't know me and I don't know you because you yeah. everybody complete different. Yeah, shit, months. Yeah. Motherfuckers, I told you it's four seasons, it's four quarters in the, in the year. So if you, people have, I ain't heard from you in quarters and, and you know what I mean, half, <laughs> yes. damn near a year. It's, it's seasons. I'm learning that this year. You know what too. I mean? Like, like, I just, like, it's a... like what you want me to do? Because I'm, I'm still, I got two girls. You, yeah. you know, I got, yeah. shit, I just, we just won the damn championship. Did you? Yeah, the little league. We're going, the, we going uh, to Connecticut. Oh, congrats. Yeah, like, Lena, Lena doing her thing. Then 2D10, you, you know what I mean? They won. Yesterday, I'm coaching. Oh, for I'm, real? Yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to sign up to be King's coach because he's about to be doing basketball, y'all. Come, hey, listen, if you want to play baseball, tell him to come down to the Nats Academy. Okay, yeah. so what I signed him up was I nine sports or something okay, like yeah, that. That's one. Yeah. Um, but they everything that they listed was flag football, baseball, soccer, and basketball. Mm-hmm. He said he wanted to do basketball. So yeah. I was like, all right. Get my boy ready. But they asked if you do you want to be a coach or like an assistant coach? And yeah. I was like, do I want to be that into it? Or do I want to just be on the side and be like, go, baby, go? I don't and know. So coach, so I played baseball. Mm-hmm. But it's 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 the similarities are there for softball, mm-hmm. but they don't pitch overhand. They pitch underhand and it's fast pitch. Oh. So it ain't like a little pitch that goes up. This shit coming 50, 60 miles per hour. He would really have to be one. He really have yeah. to want to do it to learn. Yeah, that. so like, you know, I'm but I think I'm he doing, can learn with basketball. I'm being a, I'm be, I'm trying to be the best dad ever, you know mm-hmm. what I mean, for my kids and still support whatever they want to do. So like when stuff like that come, mm-hmm. 
Listen, man. I, I ain't worried about it. Got bigger shit to worry yeah, about. Yeah, I got I got way more shit to worry that's about. That's all I've been. That's all you know I can saying? do. Like when you say, like if you can't change it, then don't let it bother you. Yeah, like. that's why I don't, I don't be tripping. I just I see it, and you gotta know what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. It's, yeah, you can't change it. Yeah. So and I, and I and I ask my brother, I ask Kadeem, I say, bro, am I am I tripping? And he like. He'd tell me the real, because I've been knowing him since boot camp. I like people like that. You know what I mean? So I need him for that. Like, if I got some, if I got, like, if I don't know who I can talk to about certain things, yeah. I got to go to him and be like, am I tripping? Let me tell you what happened. And mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't want you to think of it based off, you know, like, yeah. who I am to you. Like, I want you to tell me, like, is right. this situation crazy? Yeah. And he'll be like, mm? yeah. my real he, opinion, boom. Shit, because they was like, bro, I respect need, that. I mean, need, you need, need that. Talk. He like, y'all need to have a talk. We have a talk, and that shit still ain't it. I'm like, look, bro. Sometimes it's not, it's no room for talking yeah. for certain people. I wouldn't say for everybody, but sometimes yeah. some stuff isn't meant to be fixed. Yeah. And that's, just, and that's how I look at it. That's how people like, move. Yeah. They showing you who they really are and their intentions originally. So why would you try to go back to yeah. fix those and yeah. change it? You can't change it. Right. Leave it alone. Leave it where it's at. Because, I mean, shit, it's still two numbers in a day mm-hmm. that, that hit the same time. Mm-hmm. Sometimes them, them numbers ain't on the same line. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I just keep moving, man. Cause I, you know what I mean? Like, and it ain't no, you know what I mean? It ain't no, for me, it ain't no, no beef or nothing. It ain't. I'm not even. I don't even do that. So it's like. Beef is me being at your front door. Right. And we all got each other location. So that's why I say it's not, it's not a beef. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, hey, people grow. You know what I mean? And grow apart. Respect and you it. have to accept that yeah, you wasn't it. meant to be in yeah. each other's lives for this yeah. amount of time. So moving forward. Yeah. You know, but um cuz guess what? At the end of every scene there's what? It's another another one. start. Yeah. Another, another, another chapter, another sequel. act, so another sequel, sequel. Mm-hmm. or whatever. So I just keep it going, man, like cuz for one, man, I'd be 39 this year. For real. Yeah. I ain't got time. I'm gonna cry when I hit 30. Yeah. Oh, real bad. Yeah, I'm going to be 39, man. I ain't got time. No, nah, okay. you just... At 39, life should be easy. Great. It should be... And it, I ain't even going to lie, Sunshine though. and flowers. This, like, this it's not going to be as perfect, but your world should be perfect for you. This has been my like, best year so far. Yeah, that's that's okay. good. It's been my best year. I've been trying to make it mine, but I keep running into shit, and I'm like, I can't never catch a break. Good. But I, I'm Sometimes still you, pushing, though. You got to get off on that exit. Yeah, when you, when you want it, when you want the three ninety five or two ninety five, you, you gotta get off on that X. I just like I'm like, like I, it's shit never gives. But like what I've been doing is I've been, even though my life haven't been perfect, I've been finding things to make it like do what yeah. I want to do, like do what I love, do what I feel, do what I think, like mm-hmm. trying to make it work for me. So I just and it will, yeah, it definitely. Will. It's coming together, but yeah. then it has it's some it's some you know some bumps in the road on the way. All right, cool. What uh, you been working on music? What song? Mm-hmm. Your new single, "Real Bitch." When you drop it? I dropped it this past Friday. Yeah, I know. I'm just. I, I want you to tell the people, like, <laughs> oh, tell the people when I'm you like, dropped it. Like, you know, I, I know, dropped it. I know when you I dropped sent it. it. Yeah, I know when you <laughs> dropped it. But I, I want you to tell oh, the people. Well, yeah, y'all. So what you talking about? I dropped my new track, "Real Bitch." Um, this past Friday, it's on all platforms. Um. Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, not on SoundCloud. Everybody always be asking, it's on SoundCloud? No. Yeah. But I mean, it ain't nothing wrong with taking it back, though, yeah, it's to when wrong you with, first hey, started. As long as people hear your music. As long as you hear it. Yeah. And I, my fan base has been building. Uh, I performed it for the first time last night at that cosplay event, and, and they, they loved it. it. I was like, okay, Did yeah. you wear a, co- like a uniform? The costume. Look, so, uh, costume? The, yeah, so we came as um, Sailor Moon, but we was different ones. Okay. And I'm not, I'm honestly, like, my, that was my second. It was second. multiple ones, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's yeah. why we had different colors. I had on an orange skirt. Um, one of the dancers had on the blue, and another one had on the green. And okay. we all had different color bow ties on. Yeah. It was really cute. That's dope. That's dope. Okay. It was fire. So you, what else you got that's coming out? Um, right now, I'm working on a couple projects. I'm just trying to, like, keep going, like, you know, just book with you to do your um, podcast. Mm-hmm. And then now I'm just trying to see, you know, what I got next. Like, I'm in the studio. Um, got sessions coming up. I've been writing. I got some hard shit. But I'm, I don't know which one I want to go record first. Yeah. I'm like, how am I feeling? And so every time I feel like I got a new idea in my mind, I'm writing something new. So I don't be knowing, like, 
which one I want to go record because when I record it, that means I'm about to be dropping it soon. Like I got yeah. content coming behind it shortly right after. So um, I'm working on tracks right now. I got photo shoot schedule, you know, so I just want to have new content for real for the summer. Yeah. I want to drop, I really just want to drop all fire shit and mm-hmm. my goal for the summer is just to be booked and busy and be traveling. Yeah. And I want to keep opening for bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger venues until and bigger you, you artists. Opening, you, you are until the, they're like, we're opening yeah, for Taz. Yeah, until they opening for you. I want, by the time it's uh, 2025, it'd be my year, they'd be like, we want to give you this million dollar deal. Like, yeah. I would sign a deal, but it would have to be the right deal. Right. But, um, that's the goal. That's the plan. That's gonna, the goal. You're going to get there. You working. You I'm working. working. I'm not playing. You working. I promised myself this year and my song, um, I was talking about, I promised, I think it was set it off. I was like, I got to make this shit happen because mm-hmm. my son, you know, he want me to get a house and yep. he got goals for me and I got goals for him and I'm like, I'm going to make this year that year. Right. I can see it happening. I've, I was told by somebody that they couldn't help me get to it because it'll take a long time to get to it. Get my numbers up, um, to get a fan base and I'm like, nah. When they told me that, that motivated me to go a little harder. I was like, you okay. You know, was, at, least they, at least they was honest because they probably didn't know you can but, any. But, let me tell you, anything is possible on yeah, social media overnight. Anything, and you, not being funny, women control everything. So it's, it does. It's, it's a you have a notch higher than a guy to get to where you're trying to go because when you when you got the look, mm-hmm. you got the bars, mm-hmm. you got the beats. Mm-hmm. All you need is just to put it put the content out. That's all you need. That's all you need. And like you know, it takes a lot to put that content together. Those ideas. It does. Um, you gotta put the right ideas mm-hmm. out. You can't just put anything out because people they will just put out anything and be like, I'm an artist. But like, I'm trying to do it right. But use your um, sources. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. There's an old girl cosplay. She got a following. She do. She got a crazy my girl following. Posts, I was talking with her yesterday. I was showing my dancers her um page on Instagram and they was like, yo, she do a lot of work. Like, share shit back to back. And I'm like, yeah. Since I've met her, she always had, oh, I got a photo shoot this weekend. Yep. Oh, I got a um a convention I'm going to. I got mm-hmm. a, a booth over there. Like she always booked and busy. Um, so she definitely consistency is a thing. Um, I know content is gonna be a really big thing for me this summer because that's gonna really build my brand. Um, because I'm the brand. Yeah. <laughs> so I got I got I like a lot of things. Like I was telling you, like I need a new um, whiteboard. whiteboard. I just be putting all my ideas out, of, like what I want to yeah. do, and then once I tackle them, I just take them down next yep. and keep adding. Yep, you got so to. So whatever is to come, that's what's next. I don't even know. I'm just building my blueprint as I go for real. All right, before we get out of here, top five, uh-uh. top five artists. Your top five? Huh? My top five. My number one. Mm-hmm. Big X to plug. He hard. Hey. Shout out to Big X. He, he hard. His producer, man, they be they they like perfect. They perfect. When I tell you I'm on that man's ass, like, I want a feature. Yeah. Put me on it. Yeah. Let me, let's go bar for bar. Yeah. That's how I'm feeling. Yeah. I, when I was in Houston, we was supposed to go to this club, but um, it was a whole bunch of bullshit just to get in with the people mm-hmm. we was with. Oh, I forgot that artist we was with. We, sh- we was about to get in with him, but and they start charging us some fees. Just yeah. like we what the what the fuck? So, but come, come find out, Big X was in there yeah. right next to their section, and I don't went home. I was tired too. I'm like Houston had me out to like. Oh yeah, just be not, prepared. Was it Houston or was it Austin? Austin. Oh, you went to South by Southwest? Yes, that's where I performed that for because first event. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sorry. So it was in Austin for Southwest right by down Southwest, the and yeah, and. Because was in that club in that section, and I was like, that could have been my fucking moment. And then the yeah. next day, he went to was at Rolling Loud to perform. I'm like, he ain't coming back. <laughs> like yeah. I missed him, but I'm like, the next fucking time. But you got big cuz. I so got you, big cuz, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm like, let me know if it's a, a event. Like mm-hmm. keep me up to date. I want to know like when you got open slots. When can I hop in there? Like yeah. I need to be in that room. Yeah. So big cuz. Um, always and forever love Dolph. Rest in peace. I love Money Bag. I like listening to Meg because she hard. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and number five, who am I going to give it to? Who have I been listening to? Number five, he's not hip hop really. He's like, I won't even say he like R and B either. Major nine. Major nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He sing. Yeah. He sing rap. I mean, I, top five. I ain't say rap. Yeah, I ain't say okay, hip hop. Okay, okay. I ain't say R and B. But yeah, always major nine. As okay. Like, no matter what mood I'm in. So Major Big X, is on. Dolph, mm-hmm. Moneybag, mm-hmm. Meg. Mm-hmm. Major Nine. Major Nine. Yep. I was waiting. I wanted to know if he was going to put a female in there. Or if he was going to do all five it females. Was all, no. But no, but that... I like the the, the girls um, that's out right now. Mm-hmm. But my favorite is going to be Meg. Yeah, she... she she's Meg super. Bars is... Fire. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. All that other shit she got going on. Her bars are fire. Yeah. Talent is there. And her producer. Yes. Um Juke. Juke Lil on Juke. the beat. Little Juke yeah. on the beat. Yeah. Yeah, he he be going hard. He be he be His that's what I'm saying. Is... He be making the right and stuff. And they for be her. working with Juicy J. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love sounds like that. Yeah. That's what that's I be wanting thing. to send. Like, send me shit like that. I want yeah. a Juicy J type beat. Because I, I think that's what it'd be too, man. Cause when you get in there in the producer community and like everybody. Showing love. That's why I always love going to like the producer events. Mm, Cause it's always I haven't been to one of those man, yet. You gotta go. That's a good network. You gotta go down to um uh letter L and um uh, Tasia. Shout out to Letter L and Tasia. You gotta send it to me. Man, I, when I went to Outcast uh studio, me and Esquire went. Man, How that name stank sound on familiar. Me. Cause he was at the studio with us. Esquire. Esquire. S with the glasses, boy head. He was the other producer. Yeah, you know him, but he like he just popped in and he like every now and then. Yeah, because he he's still in the navy, him. so he'd be in, he'd be out. Like right now, he out on a ship. Shout out to my bro, hmm. but um, yeah, but uh, man, that that writing camp there, fire. I remember we used to talk about writing camp. Yeah, because that's where you really go build relationships with producers, artists, yeah. whoever, because that's where they at. And like being in and Stankonia, see their process and yeah, stuff and tap you see their process, different. they see your process. Then they put they they got footage, of what mm. you doing, and you you y'all all building to get on some sync placements. Remember, I was always big on syncs. Like I do syncs any day. You were because that's that's what's gonna get you on TV. That's People what I want to do. Even like, if I can't that? get a scene like a, a role on yeah. it, I want my music on it. Yeah, yeah remember like, like with the uh, insecure. Mm-hmm. Like all of that stuff they had going on. I love that Issa Rae's sound, um, her playlist for mm-hmm. them episodes. That was fire. Yeah, they they had regular people music on there. That's what I'm saying. That's what I love. Once you get on there, you locked in. People start rocking with your music. That's mm-hmm. how you can build your fan base that way too. Mm-hmm. Versus you know outside of the shows. But yeah, getting into those areas. Have you been to the Midwest? Mm-mm. We gotta go. Mm-mm. You been up? You been up top? You been up to New York, Philly? Mm-hmm. But doing music though. Um, we just was talking. This, this is number four, mm-hmm. talking about New York. So maybe it's meant for me to go back to New York now. Yeah, yeah you gotta um, get there. But I haven't done anything musically in New yeah, York. Get to every region, cause I, even I, I'm gonna tell you right now, the West Coast is gonna rock with you too. Yeah, yeah, especially L.A., San Diego. Didn't I just list this yesterday? I said New York, L.A., Miami. Cause, cause Miami got strip clubs. Yeah, Miami. I but really I want to happen yeah. in Miami. But that's what I'm saying. So get to those those um, other regions. So not only do you have, you know, Texas, because Texas is its own. Mm-hmm. Like a Texas artist can blow up in Texas mm-hmm. and in Texas alone because that's how many people was in there. Same thing with Cali. Mm-hmm. That's why Cali really rocking with Oh, yeah, K-Dot. she was there too. Oh, well, yeah, her, but I'm mm-hmm. talking about Cali, the, the, the state. You know oh, Cali. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. California, because like you can be in California and blow up in California, and that's why California artists. I really feel like rock. that's the hardest. It's not. Is it not? It's New York. New York is yeah. the hardest. Yeah, New York. Because I feel like Cali hardest. is where they go and they like lost dreams. Uh uh-uh. uh Nah, think about it. I ain't or like, like you might if you make it to Cali, then you made it. Think about it. You just had we just had one of the the biggest beefs or with the whole industry. Oh, talking about just with, Drake and Kendrick. Oh, yeah, yeah, And, and what yeah. Kendrick doing? He, he brung all 40 gangs with that motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, he bringing the Bloods, the Crips. All the, of them together. The, the Hoovers, all of them together. Like, and they don't even rock. Like, because, you know, I used to be station there, so I For know, real. like, I know, like, it's like certain hats you couldn't wear, like, unless you knew somebody. I felt like to build that type of respect, though, in Cali, to actually be considered making it in Cali. But that's what I'm saying. You see how, like, just that alone was big. Yeah. Because yeah. Cali's, that's, LA just one section, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Like, you got San Diego, you got the Bay, Oakland, San Francisco. He did. I Sacramento. watched it. He, you know he lists all different parts of that. Job. I was like, I ain't know and, that big. And that's what I'm saying. Like, so LA, LA, LA is huge. Mm-hmm. But for him to get all of them to come together, that since says Nip, a lot. Says a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's and, what he was trying to do. See what yeah. I'm saying? And now, like, that's what I say. You get over there and you just build relationships. Yeah. You build relationships everywhere you go. Granted, everybody might not rock with your music, but people. I want to kind of get everywhere. into um, Memphis. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, that's what I'm saying. Get to Memphis. Get to Memphis. Get to uh, they definitely love you in Memphis. I feel like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is, but yeah. Memphis got me feeling like or New Orleans. Because think about it. Like I always tell people, Memphis, that three six mafia style of music is just it's going to continue. Love it's going to stay that there. Type of sound. You know what I'm saying? And then the fact that they they like mixing it with Detroit style beats. That's why Bag so like he's going crazy. Mm-hmm. But if you notice, like think about all the clicks of music people that's together, mm-hmm. and think about who they got. They got somebody from Memphis. Mm-hmm. They got somebody from Detroit. Mm-hmm. Somebody from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And then they rock with Miami. They got some. They rock. You with might got you one or, one or two from Chicago. Yeah, you and you got you know what I'm saying. You got Dirk in them. So mm-hmm. it's like whoever you. You work with like when you build those relationships and just keep going. Like, it's, tell you, it's gonna pop. It's definitely gonna pop. I'm in my process right now. I'm just keeping going. I'm yeah. not slowing down. The, okay. the motion I got myself into right now, I'm like, I don't see myself slowing yeah, no. down. It's going to the right path that I wanted it to go. It's just I don't know when it's gonna happen. So I can't. I gotta think about like when it's happening, but not when it's gonna happen. Type right. thing. Like if that makes sense. So. All right, all right. So before we get out of here, mm. I always do gym class. What's gym class? Gym class is G E M. So you got to drop a gym for the the female artists out there, the male artists out there. Um, something that you keep in your toolbox that you can give to them to put in a toolbox. Any gym you think of, you can drop for them. Mm. Don't let, don't ever let anybody tell you what you're not capable of. And whatever you think you can do, stick to it. Don't change the plan. Stick to the plan. Like, that's the only way to make it to where you're trying to go if you stick to what you envisioned. Like, it's okay to have other people's input, you know, Mm -hmm. but like, if this is your vision, your baby, you got to take care of this and such. Like, go stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Don't let nobody get in your head. It's it's you versus you. And that's how it's always going to be. Yeah. Once you make it you versus them, yeah. That's when you yeah. go in a little crash course. You can't live. Everybody can't live for you. You can't live for them. Right. Because when you? you go in that box, then you can't get out because you and they shit. You, yeah. they, you're not even in your own world no more. Right. Don't don't limit don't limit yourself. That's another one. Yeah. Don't limit yourself. Stick to if the If you plan. feel like you want to do some big shit, do some big shit. Ain't not there's nothing too big. Facts. So. Yeah. All right, sis. Taz. It's your girl, Taz. Yeah. yeah. Follow me on social media, y'all. You love Taz. Y-O-U-L-O-V-E-T-A-Z. And Tweez, you know, I'm, Big you know brother me. brother Tweezy. You know what it is. Tweezy, that shoe. We got, like that. Huh? we got a link to after here. Huh? We got a link to. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't drink like that, but we can, we can still go out. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like that, we gone. Bye. Bye.